What's up guys? This is the Roverman and I am back to bring you the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Knights of St. John. So to round off happened last time, we sparred with the Venetians over Rome a bit more, um, but we have a new plan. And our plan is to sail to take Naples, because Naples at the very least is generating um, cash. I mean, granted we're not going to do much, our growth, we're not going to get much growth from Enlightenment and things like that. Um... But we're earning, but Naples were earning us um, about a thousand a turn. I'd like to think we could increase the growth from government. We would, we'd, we'd, I hope, we'd like, I would like to think we would have removed this negative growth penalty, and we might be able to improve some of these economic benefits too. Um, but I either need to create an army that can land, go down there, take Naples immediately, then come back, or I generate an army that can, or create an army that I can split in two and leave some troops as a garrison. Yep, I have deleted. I mean, I'm going to leave one unit in my capital just in case they do fancy trying to land as a bit of insurance. Um, oh, and you also got to see the diplom diplomatic fun and games we got of trying to just give away Rome. And they wouldn't even give it away. <laughs> the swines. Um,. Anyway, so let's hit and turn. So Britain is probably going to do its... Well, I was about to say Britain is probably going to do its traditional dance um, around Malta. The French are fortunately killing our enemies. Even though we currently... We're not currently at war with them, which is nice. Um, and they're doing a good job at taking out enemy fleets. Um, Spain has not tried to attack us yet, which is interesting. Um, if we attack Naples, I could feasibly get a school built, and I could also feasibly get a shipyard built. So even if I lost Rome, it would not be the end of the world. It would, wouldn't be good, because Rome being a very defensive, defensible city is very handy to have, and it also has the barracks and artillery buildings, and as you can see, yeah, here come the Genoese, and here come the the Venetians, I might eventually end up having to give up Rome and then maybe re-attack it, but that's obviously not my preference. So if I were to attack them with a cavalry unit, what would I would I expect to kind of see? Some mortars and some infantry. Let's get back. So these guys are going to land. It would be a fairly simple um, defence. But I think I might start to spam out some militia because they're a shade cheaper than my line infantry to hold. And we've still sort of got an economy to hold it together. But we're either, we have to, we're going to have to pull south. That's going to be what that's going to be our main. The only thing we can really do, unless bizarrely Genoa wants to go for peace. And you guys have definitely asked why I do this. Sometimes the AI can be really weird and they will just accept things out of the blue because the other things are going on that you don't necessarily see. Um, yes, if you have to fall back to take Naples, then I will. I'd like to knock down this school at Palermo to build a school school, which ultimately means I might just end up having to garrison Naples. We are building vineyards here. Obviously, we have no tech. Let's hit enter. Bizarrely, I think if I got a... Oh, no, I can't... Oh, without Rome, I can't research advanced naval tech. Because I won't have the Admiralty building. So... I do need to play it really carefully. And the trouble is that the enemy units can... Naples has mortars, so they're really good, so I'd have to be very f f um, aggressive with my cavalry units. I could, I think I could do it. It would have to be a very aggressive battle, and it would be very, very important that I do well. But I've got three cavalry units, which is strong. I could dispatch a four south to go take it, and I could probably even have enough to remain fairly strong in defence in Rome. And to be honest, it's probably going to be sooner rather than later is better. 
So is this the unit, the army they were carrying? It was. So repulse five units of line, and that's the, that's the goal. Which I can definitely do with this army. So let's take... I might even take... Okay, I think I could do it with that. I might even take my general, because he's a bit useless. Well, he's, he, he would be useless in that fight. So I might take them out. Set these guys to recruit more infantry while I'm away. And these guys go after Naples. And f oh, yes, 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 yes. So this defense, previously it was two mortars and a bunch of line. Now it's one mortar, one garrison line, a bunch of militia and some firelock armed citizenry. Let's go take them out. Um, so I really don't want to fight in northern Italy again because right now well, that's pretty much what I've done in my Italian States campaign. Um, so I don't really want to do that but it looks like I kind of have to. Format my battle line. Battle line, not battle line. Deploy two units of cavalry on the right, on the left, sorry, unit on the right, general in the centre. Get ready. Come on, just deploy, just deploy up. I don't care, just deploy it. If, you, if they run now, I wonder if they'll actually be able to avoid the mortar shot. So this is a very similar battlefield to what we've already engaged in previously. No, don't be stupid. Come on, form your line. Running good to need them to run. So these are units of militia, so our units should theoretically actually you guys run up into town and come around the rear. You'll probably take some shots, but that's kind of inevitable. Let's run this infantry unit to fire into the flank of the combat down there. Ah, oh, no, 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 no. I can now charge my cavalry in. So we are firing at the mortars as well. You can hit the militia. Should really have sent my pikes up the front. So, up front and centre. Okay, don't you guys charge. You guys get in position to fire onto the flank of this unit. Because ideally we need to make these guys break as quickly as possible. In fact, you guys may end up being... get a nice envelopment going on here. These guys can all focus on this unit of militia. More garrison have fortunately run away. Pull my cavalry back. Stay. Actually, you guys could probably knock out the garrison line. So run these guys away, then charge back in. The mortar's got greedy. Do 
set it up. Okay, okay. Um, now this infantry has deployed. It has got involved. These guys go straight in. I want these guys to flank around and hit them. Cover it into their routing units to ensure they don't come back. You might just go smash straight into them. Continue to slaughter them. Doesn't matter who we slaughter, just that we slaughter. Just that we take advantage of it to get our... Give our troops some experience. I'm probably going to have to leave some troops back as a garrison. But if I do, that's okay. they've scattered running through the town but they're going to route successfully so everyone on them everyone on this last unit of militia but they're probably there we go quick clean efficient victory 200 men we took the city and they're happy about it what's more so much so if I reinforce these guys. I can even get these two line units back. Or, well, almost back into Rome. And they won't hate me. Important. 1600 cash. Okay. So we are going to make them slightly unhappy from knocking the school down. But the few turns it'll take for us to do this, um, this resistance to foreign occupation will go down. So we built vineyards in Rome. Good. Let's hit end turn. So we've got enough troops to repulse an attack in... to attack on Rome. The question is, the Venetians may go around Rome to hit Naples, which there's not a lot I can do about that. The priority is to research, personally. To research naval techs, military techs, just to research as much as possible, as fast as possible. Because we're really far behind. And soon, if, if, because right now I don't have square formation, I have no type of bayonets. I don't have advanced artillery rounds, I don't have basic um, enlightenment techs to help develop my tax base. All the while, I've got a very weak position um, in the med around my capital. And they've sieged me rather than sallying, rather than assaulting me, which makes all sorts of sense. But I wish they did siege me, assault me. So they have raided on their way down mostly. To be honest, it's, it's five line, it's not massively strong. Mm -hmm probably like to get a general on a unit and some cav back. In di ordini. Bring them into the fight. In di okay, so we're getting some cash. Let's do a bit of replenishment down here. Let's make sure my ministers are all still top job. Good. Don't put anything here. Just don't spend money. That's going to be the end of the name of the game. Although we are... Actually, I know what I'm going to do. If I do this, 
It'll be a sally. Bring these guys in as reinforcements. But I'll deploy troops in front of my section of the wall. So I have artillery fire at range and they'll be forced to push in to engage in order to try and do damage to me. That's my plan and let's see if they stick to it. Let's see if they follow it. So let's put a militia up on the walls and file off armed citizenry so I don't deprive my main troops of any of their actual support. Something like this. That's what I'm envisaging. Because can you guys actually fire at them from a distance? You can. So they have to either sit back can, and, well, either way, I think I'd probably let them get hit by my artillery as they come in. And I may even send a, a cavalry unit forward to try and provoke them into attacking. It's understandable if they don't want to attack because it's it would cause them to die very, very, very rapidly. So why are they actually getting any hits? Yeah, the odd hit. It looks like they are getting a bit of a defilade effect from the hill there behind. It's possible they might not even, they might not take the bait. But I've got to try. So let's take my general back here. Okay, let's. F so I'm doing this at high speed because there's no. There's no real need to do it slower. If I need to do any maneuvering, I can do it at my own pace. Okay, so that's got their cavalry's attention. Their other cavalry unit. So let's get uh, my guys have decided to stop. At the very least, get them towards my cavalry. They are provincial. My guys are regiment of horse, so they are better. I was concerned about what their second cavalry unit may get up to. So we should win this fight fairly conclusively. The regiment of horse, I'm pretty sure, is just better than provincial cow. So we've lost two horses, seven. So we've lost nine. They've lost thirty. You guys have got nice big sabers. Check actually their cavalry, their artillery is firing at us. So we are fortunate though, we are still hitting the main the main body of men. Okay, absolutely kill them. Good, and they're shattered. Okay, I'd send any more. They do have a regiment of horse, so they are better than ours. lured them for a second. There may be no alternative for it but to push in. That would be dodgy to a degree. Um, but I think I've got to because it looks like they're not they're not taking the bait. So this militia the aim of the game is to wrap around the flank. It is not to try and engage man for man. I want to let this this unit of armed citizenry continue to just fire their guns, even though they may be better served over here. Nearer the 
nearer the center or aiming towards nearer the center of their their uh, line because previously they were firing two cannons now they should hopefully be firing all of them when these guys get into position nope still just two for whatever reason Let's start the march up in segments. I, I am aware I've got mostly militia on this one flank, and there's a bunch of pikes, but my hope would be that I can either overwhelm them um, and do some good damage. So let's split my cavalry off onto each flank. Let's triple speed it. Like, I may as well have my armed citizenry back here firing their cannons because they're not going to do critical work. Damn. Some of them are actually pushing forward. Let's try to take advantage of this a little bit. Keep pulling back. It's too bad they're getting shots off at us and we can't fire back. Where are you? Where's, is there a... Don't tell me these guys have... Oh, look at that. So these guys are now pretty... Okay, no, he's figured it out. Although, to be honest, I don't think these guys are going to get out of it. Oh no, these guys still don't get, can't get out of it. So these guys are melee infantry only. So let's get these guys back. So I can stretch these guys out to their full length. Two, so we've got the advantage in the, in the shape of two sections of... We've got an extra little section of militia, so we should outshoot these guys. We've got more muskets on the front rank. But I'm also going to bring my cavalry to bear and smash these guys in the flank. All of you focus fire on the second regiment of foot. To be honest, let's get these militia in to back them up as well. Both of you guys can hit the second. Are going to continue to get shot at. Hopefully, they shouldn't. There shouldn't be too much friendly fire. And there's some. That's the militia that's upset. Okay, so we have a limited superiority on the right flank. There isn't enough pikes somewhere that I need to keep an eye out. Oh, they're both on this flank. Good. Obviously, you guys are pretty useless because you're bugged on the walls. Yeah, so one of them's got so stuck here. If I set them to run back into the city, it doesn't seem to help. Or if I set them to run back up onto the walls, no. Nope. They're both stuck. You guys aren't pushing up. 
Let's move up our move up a front line. Let's move up some troops to go around on the flank. Let's get a regiment of horse up around there too. Bear in mind, we don't have forever either. And Key will be wrapping around the flanks with our su superior numbers. These guys will be very upset, these three, if they charge in now. This is a lot of men to cluster on one flank. Oh, okay, they go. Okay, they're moving up. So you guys push up. I can see their cavalry is charging. Which you can't do a thing about except make ready and attack. And charge in my general. Probably mob them with this unit too because we need the combat to finish as quickly as possible. So these guys in the, on the flank should get... You guys should be here. No, I didn't pick you. You guys should be here. Also firing at them. Pikemen are making their presence known. Good, the cavalry died. Okay, everyone except my general form line. They're committing. Do something. This is, that's really bad. They've got the freedom to do that. You guys kill the bodyguard. You guys push up. Cavalry, get your ass in gear. You guys push ahead. Because our only real hope is to do something like. into the flank there. Hopefully we can kill their general. Get our cavalry away. Charge these guys up into this unit of line infantry to try and break them. Get this cavalry up here as well. Free up these two units of foot infantry. We have managed to stall their pikemen from joining in the combat quite so quickly. They are winning, but in terms of sheer numbers, we are able to damage them enough. Good run. This. Uh, Run my cavalry up. No, never mind them. Come down here, smash into the back of these pike units. The routing unit is this militia unit over the back. That's okay. It's time to make the first regiment route. But these guys need to go in here and do some damage rapidly. You're running around on this flank, so you can go in as well. Wavering, good stuff. Yeah, you're going to be very upset of what's going to be asked of you, lone infantry unit. Let's 
So one's routed. I'm going to pull my cavalry back for another charge in. The enemy general's been killed. Which is good. That's exactly what I want you to be able to achieve. Um, this is my melee militia unit. Cavalry is very upset. You guys aren't even shooting because someone's stuck somewhere. Bring these guys up. Don't want to send my cavalry in because they're already very poorly. Instead, let's form circle of death and lose some of my infantry from my own charges everyone else get out of the way you stay where you are you're already very poorly and they're routing and we do want to continue because these pike units it would be very good if we could actually kill them These pike units were my main concern. Cool, and they're dead. So you've managed to knock back a Genoan assault at great cost. But it wasn't a Genoan assault. And you guys, it's going to take 2,000 to replenish, so we, this is going to be expensive. However, the more you guys get on board, the more troops we can slip back up to support the garrison. Maybe even one more. <laughs> I don't want them to go negative, just because I don't want to have any problems. But there we go, we've technically been able to grab Naples for quote-unquote free. But I suspect we're going to pay for it in due course. Whew. And let's hit in turn and see what happens. Because you'd like to think that's given us... We've overall got some breathing room here. We don't have... Well, obviously this could all go horribly wrong, because... We're a minor nation in Empire Total War. <laughs> um, so taking Naples would be good. Taking Venice would be nice. Taking Genoa would be nice. Um, but we'd want, I'd want to garrison the hell out of Italy. Because I don't want to. <laughs> I can't afford to lose it. <laughs> but fortunately we've got some very good reasons got some very good regions, sorry I should say, that we currently hold. So I'm feeling a bit more a bit more stable now. Well, for now. I think Naples is our, currently our high. Yep, Genoa's re they've retreated back to their city. Venice is still taking time to rebuild their forces. I was really hoping they weren't going to raid us. Hurrah! Yes, we're losing stuff to you. We've got more troops now in central Italy. And we have money to build a school. So they're going to really hate this. And not reform reform's going to go up by a lot, actually. Tactically, the better decision, I think, is to probably invest in a governor's residence. To gain that repression, burn a few more turns to let the resistance to foreign occupation go down and then build a school because I cannot take any risks in creating a rebellion. Do you have a gentleman? He's 21, so he's going to be around for a while. Got some more money to spend on a, spend on a bit more replenishment. Um, let's, hit, let's hit end turn again. Go on. And Britain's going to come in and sweep the sea clear of Barbary State's troops. Although it don't... No, oh, no, don't attack me, Britain. That's the last thing I want you to do. But at least, now we've got Naples and Rome, we have got some wiggle room when it comes to economy. And what would be really nice is if Spain declared war on Britain, because then it wouldn't be so easy for them to transit 
the um, Transit Gibraltar. Because then we would have some something there to hold them off. The Venetians don't know what they want to do, which is nice. Hopefully we're not going to go bankrupt. <laughs> yeah, barely above water. It's a big fleet as well. Like, we can't fight that. No way. Wait a minute. When did you become a fishery? That must have been Spain's doing. Concrete galleys and light galleys. Should we still keep it for the income? Well, it provides a bit of income, but if I could get a shipyard, I could actually start to get ships. But, at the same time, is it worth me fighting a navy to try and defend against this? Because I don't think that exists. A navy that I can build realistically to fight off these guys. Because they got a fourth rate in there now. Yeah, resist the temptation to upgrade. Replenish that unit in particular. Maybe see if I can more replenish when I can actually get it done. So the main thing to remember, seemingly with oh, it looks like Britain's actually moving in for the kill. But if they took Malta, that might actually solve a lot of my problems. <laughs> um, ironically. But then again, it, my campaign would become a rerun of my Italian States campaign, which is kind of lame. But you can only play the game the way that it th that you can now might be a good time to try give them Rome for peace because that would block us off in Naples away from the bad guys and Naples is the city we want hmm especially as now we're unfriendly so if I give you peace and give you regions I'll give you central Italy Ah, uh, why not? So right now my income is starting to shrink again. Um, I think the only thing I can do is pretty much keep hitting end turn until eventually they leave. Um, cause we are still we're starting to lose this resistance to foreign occupation, which is good. I think realistically that's the only way to play it. Either. Either they leave or they attack. That's the only two ways to play it. Apart from that, I've got no money to do anything else. Like, I certainly can't build a navy to hold them off. Because ships are expensive and they've deployed almost two full stacks around Malta. So I can't do anything. Unless I go really radical and give them Malta. That would be mad. Yeah, now we're on sm even smaller income. So let's take... Okay, so we don't need this militia anymore. We don't need you. That's eased up not very much money at all. Don't need you. So you're growing with a thousand cash. And to be honest, even if I do all this sort of stuff, like presenting state gifts, I don't think it's going to make a difference. Because they're only at war with me. My only hope is to pretty much hold out until they declare on someone else. That's my only real strategy at some point, at this point, and I, I don't know how good of a strategy that is. Because right now they're, they're at war with the pirates, the Barbary states, and me. They're not at war with anyone else, which is weird for Britain, because Britain is usually at war with all sorts of people. And because I can't do any diplomatic tricks to make them go to war with other people. That's kind of annoying. So all I can do is now mash the end turn button. I would like to build a school. But I can't do that. 
<laughs> the Venetians have knocked out the French. They must be out of movement because they didn't kill the Barbary states. Realistically, this is this is our future now. And they're a bit happy. Bear in mind though it goes up by plus six. Well according to the well in the city clamour for reform six predicted. So I might even just Just keep holding on. I should really repair that iron workshop because now it becomes it seemingly is clear that Venice or Genoa doesn't want to attack again. So I might do that before we end the part because we're at 40 minutes ish. So it would probably be good if I did end the part soon. <laughs> um, but I think right now I'm doing the only thing I can do. Uh oh. Hopefully they're going to go for Rome rather than Italy or the rather than Naples. So now they're plus three. I think now it's technically safe. They're up. They're plus three. It'll take three turns to build, and then they'll be plus six. I don't like this one bit. Especially as I can't. Build a, build a light galley to make sure they don't do anything stupid like sit go down here to Syracuse. Just keep making, just keep offering them peace because you never, never know they might take it. Britain's currently beloved by all. Yeah, Venice is the. Oh, I didn't even repair that damn iron workshop. <laughs> Right down, right in front of my face. Iron workshop. Damn, this has been a tough one. Especially as it's now 1706. And there's been four t four turns a year, so 24 turns. Oh no. Oh. Uh oh. Okay. Okay. Still, Britain's blockading me. Prepare. I'm reluctant to build anything here because that's prime of uh, getting destroyed. To be honest, the time may eventually come where if I can build up my strength, I just march on Venice just push on and attack them that's gonna be my end the end goal here but i have to keep my garrison here in naples just to make sure the school doesn't make them completely riot so the garrison has plus two resistance to foreign occupation is going down um taranto is growing in 19 turns Oh, I can build sixth rate so we get to fishing fleet. I think top tier fishing fleets can actually build um, fourth rates, I think. So that might be my back door into a into a into a navy. Oh good. Oh bad. That's really bad. They've made peace, but at, well, they're not they've not made peace. They've unblocked it. <laughs> no, they haven't blockaded. They haven't lifted the blockade of Malta either. And here comes Spain. So, Britain's deployed a stack on my shores. Um, Spain is sailing in with a stack. And um, France is also sailing down the west coast with a stack, which hasn't shown any hostile intent yet, but I'm, I'm concerned. So, the best thing to do now is to go and cancel building the school and building the port however venice is attacking rome again um so i'm definitely going to part there because i'm not going to fight another battle and i'm even going to write a note to tell myself when i next record 
demolish school and port awesome radio thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed and we'll see you next time for pretty much the same thing i've been doing for the last couple of parts cheers everyone